In this video I'm going to show you how to work with torch paste. So torch paste is a thick gel that you apply to wood, cardstock or some other items and then um, you create a unique burn design on your product. So it's mostly for wood. It almost looks like a laser engraved wood after you're done. So let me show you how it works. So firstly you're going to need um, stencil vinyl. So we have high detail stencil vinyl that we're going to use for all the hard surfaces like wood. We're going to cut it out with our Silhouette Cameo Vinyl Cutter. We're going to weed out our image. So we're going to remove all the cut out areas from the vinyl. Okay, this is my stencil fully weeded and we're going to apply to a wooden cut, cutting board. So I'm going to just cut my stencil a little bit smaller so that it fits on my board. Okay, and I'm going to use application tape to lift the stencil up and then apply it to the board. I'm going to put it over the stencil. And I'm going to use a scraper just to secure it to the application tape. The application tape is available at JJ Electronics. Remove the backing of the stencil. Now your stencil will be on your application tape. We're going to apply it to the wood and use the scraper to scrape it down just to secure it to the wood. Carefully remove the application tape, it might lift up on some areas and then with your fingers just press it down, you don't want any areas lifting up. Okay, so this is our torch base, so you can apply it with any scraper, a silicone scraper will work very nicely or you can use sponges, I'm using a piece of um, felt material. And then we're going to apply a little bit over your stencil. So. It must be a thin layer on top of the wood and not a thick layer and the rest of the torch base we're going to scrape back into our bottles. I wait for it minimum two minutes and then remove the stencil. Make sure um, the torch paste is dry before you remove the stencil. Okay, so you will see it's like a clear coating on top of your wood now. So you're going to use a heat gun and we're going to heat uh, the torch base until it goes black. So it can take a while. So just go over, move the heat gun around. Otherwise, you're going to burn the wood uh, too dark on one spot. So make sure you move it all over slowly. See how it goes black? And you go over until it goes solid black or whatever look you want to create. You can leave it a light brown as well or you can do go fully black with your designs Here's the final product, so it's nice and black. So we're going to do it on a spoon as well. So we're going to apply the stencil the same way with your application tape to the spoon. And then scrape it on. Apply a little bit of um, torch paste over the stencil. Scrape the rest back and then remove the stencil. Apply your heat with the heat gun until it's solid black or 
brown or whatever you want to create. Your, your wood will go a little bit more brown than what it was. So with um, cardstock or any paper type of items, I recommend you use a lighter tack pencil material. So like this pink one we sell at JJ Electronics. This one is nice for paper because it doesn't tear the paper. It's not so strong on the paper so it doesn't tear it when you remove the stencil. Okay, so we're going to do it on a cardboard box. Just scrape it on the box, the stencil, and remove the application tape. Okay, we're going to apply the torch paste, also a very thin layer. You're going to scrape the access back to the bottle again. Okay, now we're going to remove the stencil. And I'm going to use my heat gun for this box. And for the cardstock that I'm, that I'm going to do next, we're going to use the heat press. Now I'm going to do the cardstock, so I'm also going to use application tape to lift my stencil, also using the pink stencil vinyl, remove the backing of the stencil, and then this is my cardstock, so I'm going to put it, center it in the middle of my cardstock. And then scrape it down. Remove the application tape and press the stencil down. Make sure that you don't have any lift up areas and then you're going to apply the torch paste. Also a thin layer on top and scrape the access back to the bottle. After minimum two minutes we're going to remove the stencil. I'm going to use silicone paper to put over my design, I don't want to mess my um, press. So we're going to put the press on about 220 degrees and then for a few seconds you're going to burn it and then lift up your press to see if, it's, if it went black and if it didn't go black you're just going to close your press again and press it for a more, few more seconds until it's black. You will see at the bottom I messed a bit of torch paste, so make sure your stencil is big enough so that you don't burn unnecessary areas. 